Hi YouTube, I grew up in the 80s and I've dedicated quite a lot of this YouTube channel to collecting back a lot of the toys and a lot of the figures that I owned back in the day. Um, this particular video is going to be about a toy line by a company called Zyomex Z. Now Zyomex Z made a lot of die cast things back in the day, so they made um, a lot of cars, that kind of thing, and yeah, I really love these little metal robots. Um, this particular toy line is just called Metal Man, they're Metal Man figures, and they did quite a few other ones as well, apart from the three that I'm showing you today. They did, I think, like a policeman and a soldier and I think an astronaut, but um, I just particularly like these robots, so I've just bought these. I may end up buying the others in the future, but um, you can see they're nice um, dinky little figures, really solid, nice and... Uh, constructed and this particular one is called Questar and you can turn his head around and you can view this side of the head as well which I think actually I probably prefer so I quite often when he's on display I keep him this way around um, I just like that kind of flat face this guy is also available in a gold kind of finish um, but I prefer the silver one personally um, you can see you can pose them in different positions but when they get particularly old obviously like these ones are um, sometimes their joints can be a bit loose and they just kind of flop around a bit it's okay once they're stood up and on display it's fine but um, yeah don't expect to buy them and them necessarily have really stiff joints still this one just says Hong Kong on the bottom of the foot um, but yeah Zyomex Z that's the uh, company to look for when you're buying these robots. They're fairly rare, these guys, fairly hard to find. And so because of that, they're also quite expensive. So what I suggest you do is go on to eBay and just keep typing in um, Zalmec Z Metal Man. And eventually, if you're lucky, you'll find one that's listed a bit cheaper. You'll be able to get a bargain or just try and find one that's listed badly, like listed as something completely different and the person doesn't necessarily know what it is and then you might be able to pick one up a lot cheaper right this one says Zalmex on one of the feet and Hong Kong on the other foot um, I really like this particular one he's called Roton he's got the lovely bright red kind of chest and yeah he really stands out he's probably my favorite one out of all of them this next one is called Radon with the metallic blue chest and the metallic blue feet again really nice and kind of small but uh, I really like this one as well because again he's bright so he stands out I used to have quite a lot of other die cast metal robots back in the day but they were mainly things like GoBots and Super GoBots or um, I had like a Shogun Warrior as well and they were all very well constructed you kind of wonder why there aren't similar kind of toys today really uh, most of the toys you buy today are really really cheap plastic compared to the things we used to be able to buy right i'm going to show you a few of the things that these came with occasionally um, it didn't always come with the same sorts of things but this thing here is called a recharge case well it's only half of the recharge case it also had a top to it as well i've just got this bottom part and uh, this is for Roton, so he goes in this one, and it's quite a nice little thing. So particular packets came with these recharge cases, not all of them did. Um, so he goes in there like that. It's quite nice to be able to display him in that. Uh, it's a shame I haven't got the top bit. That's something that I'll look out for in the future and see if I can find the kind of clear top part for his recharge case. Okay, I can show you the actual packet that Radon came in. Um, I always think it's a bit of a shame, the packet that he came in, because it's a really cheap packet. When you consider how solidly built the figures are, and really nice kind of metal figures, they just came in these really cheap plastic cases. This is the gun that came with Radon. This is particularly rare. They're really hard to find the little guns. Um, obviously that's a, a small part that gets lost really easily but yeah look look how thin um, the plastic is for this bit of the box really cheap and nasty and actually the the actual cardboard part of the box as well 
is really <laughs> very cheap looking. Again, I think probably back in the day you could buy these probably for less than a pound, the actual robot. Um, yeah, I don't like this packet at all, but, you know, I bought it in the packet, so I'm going to keep them in the packet. But I suppose probably if I ever display them properly, I'll um, probably just store the, the box somewhere and just display him uh, loose. It's quite nice, though, that on the back of the packet, there are a few examples of, um, you know, UFOs and helicopters and things that they must have made as well and other figures that you could get so you can see a little policeman there got a soldier and uh, at the bottom you've got an astronaut as well so it's nice to have that as a kind of a visual thing but um, like i say overall the box i don't like at all right if you're like me and you grew up in the 80s and you're looking for a bit of a nostalgia hit check out some of my other videos from the other toy lines that I've collected back um, there's all kinds of stuff in there and it's sure to take you right back in time um, hit subscribe to see any videos that I post in the future thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video